Now let's start with the actual work. Now where do we code? To work on a project, you need to use one of the app or the software which is called IDE. Now IDE basically stands for Integrated Development Environment. It means it's a, it's a software where you will code, where you will compile the project and where, where you will run the project. Now there are different IDEs available for servlets. In fact, for Java field, we have certain certain IDEs available. So one of them is NetBeans. We have Eclipse. Uh, we have IntelliJ. So that if the, these are the three topmost softwares available for Java developers. Now, which is the best one? I would say IntelliJ is the one of the best IDE available for Java. But the only thing is, it has two versions. One is community version and second is the ultimate version. And if you want to work on server-side coding, you need to use ultimate one. And unfortunately, you have to pay for that. Otherwise, you can go with Eclipse. This is the next best IDE available. And the awesome thing is it is free to use. And then we have NetBeans. Normally in academic purpose, they use NetBeans a lot. But I've never seen a, a development environment where we are using a NetBeans. But then people may be using it. But I, I prefer Eclipse. In fact, the industry which I visited for training, they all use Eclipse. Now we will see how do you get Eclipse in your machine. Now the first thing would be open your browser. So just go to Google and search for Eclipse download. Now if you search for Eclipse download, you can see it will show you this option which is Eclipse IDE for Java EE. Just click on that. And now you can see we have for different OS, we have different setups here. Now you can go for any version. Uh, I mean, depend upon your OS. Example, in my machine, I'm using Mac. So I will be going for Mac OS X. If you're using Windows, depend upon which bit you're using, maybe 32-bit OS or 64-bit OS, you will choose one of them. And if you're using Linux flavors, you can choose this one. Now, since I'm using Mac, I will be going for the third option here. Click on this. And then you will click on download. And after in some time, it will get downloaded. And you can see it is getting downloaded here. Now, it will take some time based on your internet speed. Now, we don't have to actually wait for this. I already have a setup in my machine. So if I go to Finder, you can see I already downloaded this software on my machine. And the only thing is, since it is star.gz, you can simply double click it and it will give you the unzipped version, right? And the unzipped version is Eclipse. And the moment I double click on this, you will get your IDE. So the version which I'm using is Eclipse Mars here. You can also use Neon, that works fine. Now it will ask you for a workspace. Now workspace is basically a folder where you will put all your project. So all your, all your working projects will be there in, in this folder. You can choose whichever folder you want. And I would choose a, a servlet, I would say a servlet workspace. I will click on OK. And as you can see, this is the Eclipse IDE. So let me just make it full frame. And I will close the welcome window. Again, you can enjoy this welcome window where you have some tutorials. Uh, you, you can see some sample code, but then let me just close it. And this is how your Eclipse will look like. On the left hand side, you have your project explorer. So all your project will be explored here. On the right hand side, you have some task list, you have some outline to work with. So uh, we, don't, we don't need that as, at this point. Now this is the area where you will get your code window. As you can see, we don't have anything here yet, but then this is where you will code. And these tabs are very important. Now this is one of the tab which will be helpful for debugging your application. Whatever wrong with your project, you can see that here. Then this is the tab which is important, the server tab. Now you might have guessed it till now. Since you are working with servlet, you need a server to run it on, right? And in the theory video, we have talked about it. We need a server, which is a servlet container where you will run the servlets. And the servlet container, which we are going to use in the course is Tomcat. So of course you need to link your Tomcat here, but how do you do that? That's a, diff that's a different thing. Then this is for data source. If you want to explore your database connections. Now this is what you have on the, on this side. Now let's talk about this one. This is a perspective. So if I, if I click on this perspective, these are the perspectives which are available. Now you might be wondering what this perspective means. Now, if you are working on servlets or any enterprise level code, let's say servlet, JSP, EJBs, you will be selecting Java EE. Now Java EE offers you those features where you can configure Java, Java EE stuff. Example, the server tab which you're getting here, thanks to the Java EE perspective. Because if I change different perspective, let's say Java, which is used for normal core Java development. If I click on OK, you will see there's something changed and the server tab is gone now. So these are the perspective you have. So you can see if I click on Java EE perspective, you will get servers. If I click on Java perspective here, you will not see servers there. And if I again open the perspective, there are Git perspectives. So if you want to see the repositories, uh, there is a JPA perspective if you want to work with JPA. Now time being, we want to work with Java EE. So let's stick to it. Click on OK. 
and you got Java is perspective. Now the next thing would be you need a project and you need a Tomcat server because even if you have a project here, how will you run it? Because you need a Tomcat server, right? Now, how do we get a Tomcat server? That we'll see in the next video.